such a wonderful message. It's really a blessing. Uh, you may mention about the blindness, uh, how God supernaturally uh, healed the blind, but there is more to that. The spiritual blindness is very, very important. Okay, um, I would like to uh, put an emphasis on uh, if you are walking in darkness, even though you have sight, can you see? Can you see your way? You can't see. You can't see anything because darkness will overpower you. But Jesus came to give light. Okay. Uh, here I will uh, read this verse in John chapter 12, verse 46. I have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me will not remain in darkness. So Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the light. So, so many people are spiritually blind. They are uh, focused on the things of this world. Sometimes, um, you know, um, many, many times I've shared the word of God the good news of salvation to people. Uh, they know God, but they are blind. They, they will not accept because religiously they are uh, blind. They believe in what they believe. They believe according to their culture, according to uh, uh, what they are with, uh, how they are brought up and miss out the truth from the Lord. So this is important. The light comes from God. That's why we are reading the word, we are meditating the word, so that we will be also uh, accept the light from Him. You know, if we have the word of God in our lives and we are transformed, that's why we are transformed from glory to glory. As we mature, we become light as well. We become a light giver. So when we share the word to other people, people will be uh, saved as well. People will see, will open up their eyes. Okay? Um, I would like to uh, just briefly uh, share to you the, uh, uh, the life of St. Paul. Okay? On the way to Damascus, he was blinded by, uh, by light. You know, he can't see anything. But there, his spiritual eyes was open. His spiritual eyes was, was, was open. Before, he, he thought, because he's a very learned person, he knows the law, and he's very uh, uh, clever, knowledgeable, and yet, he persecuted so many Christians his way, and he, I would say he's, he's blind to the truth. Okay, the message of God is uh, he came here to, to give life, to give life to people. Okay? And yet he persecuted those Christians during his time because he believed in the wrong I mean, he, uh, he believes in what he, uh, he was brought up. He was taught in a different way. He, he knows uh, the Bible. He knows the church. But he doesn't know the true God personally. That's why we need uh, the, uh, the brother Aaron uh, as, uh, open up a prayer for us to have a relationship with the Lord. And that's the way. Relationship is the way to the Lord. It's not the religion. Okay? So, so many people are, are, are um, not blind, but they are blind in their heart. They don't see the truth. So I pray that all of us, I believe all of us are not blind. I believe all of us have relationship with the Lord. That's our dear brother who has uh, prayed sinner's prayer for all of us. 
to receive him as our Lord and Savior. Thank you so much for this wonderful morning, for giving time for the kids, you know, although with a tender heart. Uh, it becomes, uh, uh, I would say, um, a tender heart, a fertile, a fertile, like a fertile soil, where when we plant the seed of faith, it will grow. It's amazing these kids I will be uh, the future leaders of this church. And I praise God for their lives and to the parents as well. Uh, truly, uh, as the word of God says, uh, the children are heritage and joy to the family. And also there's a message as well uh, that uh, for the parents that we should discipline our kids according to the uh, will of God. You know? It is very important to discipline them okay? as they grow up. With the proper discipline, they will grow. Uh, they will grow uh, uh, as a, 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 a successful Christian. I remember I had a friend, um, and this is this is a, 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 a his this is a pastor. You know his family. I can share to you guys to the parents. Uh, they have uh, kids, and what he did, he just lay hands while they're sleeping in prayer. And you, you know what? They grow up with a good heart and very full of uh, uh, whatever they decide. They decided to be successful in their career, and they become very intelligent, full of wisdom, full of knowledge. And they um, are very successful. So I will encourage every parents uh, to pray for the children. Even though they are young, don't underestimate the power of prayer. This is the church we are taught to, to do that. And it is powerful. Supernaturally, they will grow according to your will, according to your wish in your heart. If you pray for them to be, uh, to be good, they'll be good. And I um, assure you, prayer is a power thing as part of our faith to exercise. Thank you so much uh, for this um, um, time that we have experienced. I would say a breakthrough for uh, for the children uh, to be part of the worship team. Probably this is just uh, the beginning. <laughs> it is just the start. Uh, in the future, there will be uh, more and more for the children to be part of the worship team Amen. and to give the uh, best and praise God uh, in their worship and, and songs. Thank you so much. And um, uh, I would like to. Uh, is there any? Can you can you stand up and we will uh, request anyone who has a prayer request. If you have a prayer request, we can pray in the front.